I lost one. I, I, I do need to be cured, though. I have something else going on. Sorry? I do. I do need to be cured. I have something else going on. Okay. What, what do you want me to pray for? Okay, whatever it is. Wow. Well, are you ready? Yes. Yeah. Can I say? Yes. Okay, you get saved today. No, you say. No, 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 you say. I have an addiction for cigarettes. Yes. Yeah. And yeah. you want to be free? Yes. I, I'm constantly kind of going, it's an ongoing thing. Okay. I'm coming now, up. Now, 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 now. The, reason, the reason is because you have been trying to get out of cigarettes yeah. with your willpower. My will, yeah. yeah. And I'm, I'm going, yeah. coming and going all the time. Now I'm going to teach you how to get yourself free. Okay. Are you ready? Yeah. Okay. Let's read the word scripture and then you will be set free. Romans chapter 116. Romans 1.16 Romans 1.16 Read it For I am not ashamed I am not ashamed of the gospel of Christ for it is the power of God to salvation to everyone that believed to the Jewish Jew person and also by the degree. Praise God. Yeah, come this side. No, no, no. Don't go. No, I'm going to teach you. Listen, listen. In my life, I never had a retreat for alcoholics and drug addicts. Okay? And God put in my heart to start a rehab center for the alcoholics and drug addicts. And it so happened that I uh, invited 25 people who are hardcore drug addicts to stay with me for seven days. Okay. So somebody gave me a resort and said you can have a retreat here, no charges. So all of them came, 25 of them, and I was the only person there. So now, somebody asked me, do you know what you are doing? I said, yes, I know. And they said, if one of them out of 25 gets a withdrawal to get his shot, he will go to the extent of killing you. Is that right, nurse? When they get a withdrawal, you tie them to the bed. Because there are drug addicts. Yeah. When they can't control, yeah, yeah. they'll jump yeah. through the window. Yeah, yeah. Even on the fourth floor or fifth floor, yeah. they go insane. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Right? Yeah. And I said to them, I've got the wisdom of God that I can get them all. Okay? And I, you know, from childhood, I loved fighting. Even now, I love fighting. <laughs> but in those days, I used to fight against somebody's body. Now I fight spiritual fights. So when I was in school, I wished to love. There was not a single day that I've eaten food without watching cage wrestling. A cage wrestling is where the wrestlers are inside. The cage is there and it is locked. And they fight and fight, they bleed, and only the one who stays till the end wins. So they are all bleeding. It's a bloody wrestling. So that in my mind, I told this 25 drug addicts, the door is locked and the key is with me. It's in my pocket. So nobody goes out. And I told them, I have a new drug and in this drug you can go so high that you have never tasted in your life. And I promise you, you can go high. And I'm going to give everybody this drug. <coughs> now, were they interested? Yes, Absolutely yes. interested. And I said, listen, I've made a fake. We will enjoy these seven days in this place locked 
and we will have heavy drug party. Praise God. Hallelujah. And I said, those who want to experience that, for the next 45 minutes, we are going to repeat one line, just one line. The Spirit of the Lord Jesus is upon me. My God himself has anointed me. When you start repeating, you will see a new drug getting injected in you and you will go high. Now, do you think they'll believe? No, they won't believe. Look what it says. Look what it says. I'm not ashamed of the gospel of Christ. For it is... Power. You know what's the meaning of the word power? Yeah. What's power? Strong. What is power? Control. Now, now, for example, am I using electric power right now? Yes. So what is the power going to do? The power when it is applied will change the thing and bring new thing in its place. Example, let's say we switch off the power and this room is in darkness. What happens when you use electric power? Darkness will go and new thing has come. Let's say there's a rock. You use a dynamite power. What happens to the rock? It breaks into pieces and new thing has come. So whenever you use power, power will see to it that it will affect that thing and replace it with new thing. That's power. And the Bible says that the gospel of Christ is what? Salvation. Power of God. God. So the greatest power when applied will destroy drug addiction and bring sober mind. Are you understanding? Yes. But this power of God will get into action in whose life? Those who? So I've got 45 minutes before the withdrawal can start. Some of them had already come high. Praise God. They had their stuff. They had everything. No checking, nothing. And I said, now in the next one hour, we will see amazing things happening over here. And I shared my testimony. And I said, now the Bible says, life and death is in the power of your tongue. If you can open your mouth and say, for the next one hour, the Spirit of the Lord Jesus is upon me. My God himself has anointed me and filled me with his love and set me free. We will see you going high. And we were all holding hands and we were repeating. After 10 minutes, one fellow fell down. The second fellow fell down. The third fellow fell down. Now when they fell, they were like, you know, hey, what's happening? And I said, that's the drug from heaven. <laughs> now I said, you all want to be set free. And many people came and told you, what you're doing is wrong. But they never showed you how you can get out of it. Today the Lord wants to teach you how to get out of it. The gospel of Christ. This word of God is the gospel of Christ. And it has the power to set you free from any work of Satan, any addiction, any bad habit, the power of God. But all you need to do is believe in this scripture. So the moment two or three fell down, what happened to the others? They started what? Believing. Believing. We had the seven days retreat. There was not one who got withdrawn because all of them got delivered by the power of God. Do you have your cigarettes? No, I don't. No, I'm all between cigarettes. I've been out of cigarettes for like seven weeks. This is what I'm torn to vape now. Vape? Vape. Yeah, vape. Yeah, vape. Yeah, vape. Yeah, Hmm? Oh, you have taken the electronic one. I don't have cigarettes. But now you are taking electronic. I don't have the electronic. I'm, I'm often today. I'm doing very well today. I'm doing well today. Um, otherwise, you, otherwise, you take the electronic one. I went to see uh, um, Eddie Stone yesterday. Oh, yes. And since I came back from that, I have been uh, doing very well. I came back. When I 
after I finished the vape, I didn't want any then that evening when I got home. I didn't want it today, but, but I'm kind of struggling. Like I could go two weeks out and then I want it again. Yeah, yeah. so I'm so I'm going to teach you. Come on. Yeah. Come on. Close your eyes. Now, now, look over there. Did it say it's the power of God? Power of God, yeah. The gospel of Christ is the power of God. Yeah. Now, is this power of God able to break addictions? Of course, yes. Is it difficult for him? No. 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 So all you need to do is believe in the gospel of Christ. Yes. Now, did Jesus start his ministry by saying, the spirit of the Lord is upon me, my God himself has anointed me? Yes. yes. And after reading from the book of Isaiah, from Luke chapter 4, the first thing that Jesus did was to cast out demons. Yes. Okay. Yeah. So now when you are saying the same word, will that word go and cast out the spirit of nicotine? Yeah, sure. Isn't it? Sure, yeah, yeah. sure. Yeah. Now when you close your eyes and concentrate, you will get drunk in the spirit of God. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah. Oh oh yeah. You will get drunk. Drunk. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and I told you, you don't need a cigarette to get high. You okay. will get high with the word of God. Okay. That's what happened on the day of Pentecost. Yes. When they came out, uh, people thought they were drunk. Yes. Really? Really? Yes. I'll ask you a simple question. Yes. If there is one drug addict or an alcoholic in the house, uh, is it easy? Only one? No. The rehab that we have, there are 70 in one house. So you can imagine what kind of power is there inside. But all of them sober inside the house. Why? Because it's the Spirit of God that sets them free. It is not medicine. It is not... Um, it is not any anything else but the very Spirit of God setting them free. And now I am teaching you how you can be set free. Okay? Are you ready for the next five minutes? Yeah. We are going to repeat it together. And, and not only you. Those who are sitting here might be they are not addicted to cigarettes. But might be uh, having weakness of jealousy or might be having weakness of uh, um, greed or, or lust or sexual sin or whatever everything breaks down by the spirit of God ready close your eyes say this Lord Jesus, Lord Jesus, Lord Jesus. I was sitting there, I was sitting there and you called me and me. Through this brother. Through this brother. You have seen my heart. You have seen my heart. I hate that spirit of nicotine. I hate that spirit of nicotine. But I have been enslaved. But I have been enslaved. All these years. All these years. Lord Jesus. Lord Jesus. I have tried with my willpower. I have tried with my willpower. But I keep falling again and again. But now I come to you. The Bible says, whoever the Son sets free is free indeed. The Gospel of Christ is the power of God for salvation to everyone. To everyone who believes, who believes Lord, Jesus, Lord Jesus, I choose to believe, I choose to believe your, gospel, your gospel, your power, your power is, working in me, is working in me and destroying, and destroying, 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 destroying that spirit, that spirit of nicotine, of nicotine completely. Come from my life. From my life. The spirit of the Lord is upon me. The spirit of the Lord is upon me. Keep saying. 
Keeps it. The Spirit of the Lord is upon me. The Spirit of the Lord Jesus is upon me. The Spirit of the Lord Jesus is upon me. The Spirit of the Lord Jesus is upon me. The Spirit of the Lord Jesus is upon me. The Spirit of the Lord Jesus is upon me. The Spirit of the Lord Jesus is upon me. The Spirit of the Lord Jesus is upon me. The Spirit of the Lord Jesus is upon me. My God Himself has anointed 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 me. The Spirit of the Lord is upon me. My God Himself has anointed me. The Spirit of the Lord is upon me. My God Himself has anointed me. The Spirit of the Lord Jesus is upon me. My God Himself has anointed me. The Spirit of the Lord Jesus is upon me. My God Himself has anointed me. The Spirit of the Lord Jesus is upon me. My God Himself has anointed me. He has filled me with His love and set me free. God Himself has filled me with His love and He has set me free. God has filled me with His love and set me free. God Himself has filled me with His love and He has set me free. The Spirit of the Lord Jesus is upon me. My God Himself has anointed me. He has filled me with His love and set me free. The Spirit of the Lord Jesus is upon me. My God Himself has anointed me. He has filled me with His love and He has set me free. He has filled me with His love and He has set me free. He has filled me with His love and He has set me free. He has filled me with His love and He has set me free. Come on, say that. Come on. That's the power of God now. Come on. Come on. Come on. Receive now. A total freedom from nicotine. Total freedom from nicotine. He has filled me with His love and He has set me free. Come on, repeat that. Keep saying. That's God's power. The spirit of nicotine is destroyed from the root. Thank you, Lord Jesus. What's happening? I know you are feeling dizzy. Yeah, I know. Continue. Continue. I won't allow you to fall. Don't worry. Continue. That's God's power. Say boldly. Say to yourself, God has filled me with His love and He has set me free. God has filled me with His love and He has set me free. God has filled me with His love and He has set me free. God has filled me with His love and set me free. God has filled me with His love and set me free. Is that powerful? You are going round and round. Everything in your body is shaking now. Now, did you get this high with cigarettes? 
Oh my God! Oh my God! Should I ask God to touch you now, strongly? Yeah. I just feel myself. Like, yeah, like, you don't know what is happening. That's God's power. Very strong. Stronger than your cigarettes. And when you do it continuously at home. The, the same words. Yeah. You'll never touch cigarette again. But the desire is gone forever. Yeah. 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 You feel the power? Yeah. And everything is vibrating inside. Yeah. And your whole body is loose now. Yeah. Yeah. No, no, you won't go. To, you, you are not going to fall back. Okay. Now, now you got to, you got to feel this word over and over again. Okay. When you keep on saying these words over and over again, you can be set free from any kind of addiction. Why? Because that's what he said. All you need to do is believe. And you can teach your friends as well. Hello, you went to a different direction. You have to see this side. Oh, are you okay? Yeah, I'm good. I'm good. Yeah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Isn't that good? Yes. Yeah. So, if a person is trying with this willpower, he is he gets lost. But if he feeds himself with the word of God, the word of God kills. Why the word of God kills? Because the word of God is the word that was made flesh. So is the word Jesus himself. 